that. Um, I want to uh, now introduce a very dear friend, um, uh, Shana Kumar. Um, Shana works as a somatic coach who teaches her clients how to engage the body's innate power to heal old hurts through awareness of the body's systems. Shauna has advanced training in movement analysis and somatic movement therapy and a PhD in dance. She co-founded a nonprofit organization called Dharma in Motion, which utilizes dance practices to gather community around important causes and to raise funds for women and communities in dire need. She also works as a creative advisor to the International Gandhian Institute for Nonviolence and Peace. Uh, Shauna, we welcome you. We thank you for being here and the floor is yours. So I, um, hi, I'm super grateful that you guys um, have organized this wonderful event and um, and to have heard a couple of the speakers who just went before me. Um, I am going to talk very briefly since we don't have too much time. And then I'm going to show you um, a little, little bit of stuff that you could do yourself in your own space. So if it's possible for you to um, clear a bit of space on your floor, you could follow along with a little bit of activity. And um, if it's not possible for you, if you're stuck in a chair or, or you're unable to move um, more broadly, then you could adapt what I'm saying um, to your own body's needs. And uh, I'm also available and happy to communicate further if, um, if anybody wants to reach out. Um, what I'm talking to, to about today is, is embodying peace the idea of embodying peace. So our brains and bodies are wired with defensive responses that are seen in how we stand, move, um, you know, respond to stimuli or approach challenges. And as babies, we go through organic stages of development as we learn about the world. So we're adapting through movement and touch, um, you know, reaching with our hands, um, reaching with our eyes, really moving towards sensation. And um, just we, in that process, um, most of us go through specific stages of development, learning, for example, about the body halves, um, learning how to crawl before we learn how to walk, if um, so most of us go through these stages and um, over time, once we are standing and walking, we are very oriented toward this, what was called in dance, the sagittal plane, which is just going forward mainly. You know, we talk to people ahead of us. We, um, we, we move much less frequently in cross body or lateral movement. And um, our families, schools and so forth are located within this culture of violence that was discussed by the previous speakers, many of the previous speakers. So, um, you know, located within capitalism and all these systems of colonization and racism, sexism, fat phobia, um, phobia against people who are differently able. And um, so a lot of those systems that we learn for movement references militaristic, um, rigid, sitting in a chair. So my, um, my job is, relates to undoing those things. Um, we often hear about detachment through meditation or, um, you know, the nonviolent principles that Gandhi, Martin Luther King, and, and um, Desmond Tutu or others taught. Um, but, you know, let's face it, it's not easy, right? We, we attach to feelings and, and uh, words that are spoken. Um, 
you know, some sometimes by members of our own families, right? And sometimes in social movements, um, in causes that we are are behind, we also attach with feelings of of anger, and it's those feelings that stick to us that I am referencing right now. So, um, first of all. I also want to say that um, it's an extraordinarily difficult thing to, to not attach to those feelings. And, and I just wanna honor the lineage that we are um, you know, referencing in this discussion and this gathering of teachings of people who were you know, deeply trained in the face of you know, being sprayed down by by hoses being spat on being hated and um and you know in in the line of fire choosing peace is a very very difficult thing um and so you know there are a lot of us who who attach negative feelings and we know that um, we can meditate and we can move beyond those those feelings, but sometimes that's not possible. And I want to give you offer today a practice that assists me in um, grounding myself. And and it comes from a lineage of um, dancers who I've I've trained with, who trained with uh, Ingmar Barteniev, who who escaped from Germany before World War II. And um, so a lot of her movement practices are, are based on this wellness um, activity that I'm gonna share with you, the therapeutics of movement. And um, she studied developmental movement in children and noticed that sometimes people pass beyond or, or over developmental stages and it can be very helpful to go back as a way of grounding and then finding ways to, to respond from a, a more powerful place, from a um, strongly, a strong place that embodies the peace that we also desperately need. Um, again, uh, so please find, I hope you can find a space on the floor. I've laid down a blanket to, so that you can see a contrast um, you can hopefully see me well. And then um, if you are um, unable to be, to have space around you, then, um, or to, to move from a chair, then you can adapt the movement from, from where you are. A lot of the ways that we find freedom in our bodies is to, is to explore the, um, you know, from, from the core of our bodies, from the, the torso. Um, so we're finding freedom in the, the pelvic area, um, the, the, um, the freedom in our spines and in our head tail connection. So um, I hope that everyone can hear me well. And I am going to this right here and I certainly hope that people will follow along because it will make more sense to you if you do it's an opportunity to move um, I didn't want to not give you an opportunity to move so um, let's start by so I'll show you in this direction um, let's start by laying down in a constructive rest position with your, your arms out to your side and, and focusing on your breath. Inhale and exhale. And as I say, if you have to be in a chair, you can do this. Let's, let's do where you feel your feet grounded on the floor. And if um, that's not accessible to you, then you can feel your, your hands grounded on the floor. Just feel your body um, kind of moving your spine um, by moving from your tailbone, moving your pelvis up and down. 
And then let's just start with a um, leg lift. So you push from one foot and let it fall and then push from the other foot and let it fall. And on your next inhale, just notice, I invite you to notice. And then on your next exhale, push and let it fall and push and let it fall. And now um, I want you to try rolling up through your spine and coming up into what we um, often call a bridge in yoga and rolling down through your spine. Inhale and on your exhale, your next exhale, you can go at your own pace, rolling up through your spine. Good. And then ex and then um, allowing your spine to come down. Try vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming down. And then on your next exhale, coming up. And then I want you to shift your pelvis forward towards your knees. And you will feel more weight in your heels and in your feet. So just try that. Your hamstrings might engage. And then coming back and rolling down. Good. And then rolling up through your spine, coming forward and going over to the left side and laying your pelvis down on the left side and then rolling up and then crossing through the center and then laying your pelvis down on your right side and then rolling up, coming to the center and then laying your, your um, whole spine down vertebrae by vertebrae. Good. So this, aware, this creates more awareness of your pelvis, more freedom in the movement of your legs and your, your um, torso. And just try dropping your knees to the right. And then on your exhale, bringing your, knee, your knees back up, trying to engage with your core. And then on your left, and engaging your core, bringing it up. And just try that one more time for yourself. I want you to focus on relaxing in a drop and then engaging through your, the bottom of your tailbone, your coccyx and your core in order to bring your knees back up rather than engaging the, the legs. And again, drop to the other side. And then on your exhale again, focusing on almost like there's a button that in a couch that's being pulled to bring you back to center. Good. And now this is something, again, I hope that you can do on the floor, but if you can't, you can try just stretching out like a star. You can, um, you can do this in a chair if you need to or standing, but ideally on the floor. And I can show you in this direction. Um, you stretch all your hands and stretch right through your hands and right through your feet, almost like you're pushing right like you have energy going like a star right through your body inhale and exhale and on your next inhale imagine you're inhaling beautiful energy and light and on your next exhale exhale anything negative that you're feeling that may have happened recently or that you want to let go of for the time being can come back to it in a peaceful way and inhale, relax and exhale, shh, push through your hands, your feet in that star. Good. And now what happens with babies is we learn through, we first learn body halves before we um, you know, learn how to crawl. So if you can imagine a baby doing this you know, before learning to crawl, we're going to do this on our backs and or in as i said if you need to standing or in, in a chair and here we are and we try first bringing your the idea is to bring your elbow and your knee together so just relaxing your body as much as you can on the inhale 
stretching into your star. And on the exhale, bringing your right elbow and your right knee together and just allow your spine to follow. So my head even follows, right? And then stretching out into the star. And then find your next inhale. And on your exhale, exhaling out any negative tension, bringing your elbow and your knees together on the left side. And then stretching out into star, ideally on an inhale. On your next exhale, again, bring your right elbow and knee together, allowing your body to relax your head to follow, and then stretch out into a nice big star. Beautiful. And then on the other side, again, on your next exhale, exhaling out all the tension, your knees and elbows together. And then inhale into a nice big star, stretching out your hands and your, your feet. And now we're gonna go a little step further. And on your next exhale, again, pulling your, your elbow, sorry, uh, bringing your elbow and your knee together on the right, allowing your head to follow, and bring your, your left arm around in a big circle all the way around your body. These are called arm circles. So let's try one direction twice, and the other direction. Paying attention to your breath, and stretching out into the star again. Good, big inhale when you get there. You don't have to follow my same pace and bringing your, your left knee and elbow together. And then open into a star. And your left knee and elbow together and let's bring the right arm overhead in a big circle. Again, and you might feel little spots in your body that are tight as you do all of this, but just remember this is helping you. And then, so the arm circles now go the other direction. So you've done two in one way and then two in the other. Good. So your body kind of is exploring, you're exploring your body halves. Now, I'm just checking my time really quickly. Good. Um, now we're gonna do one more thing which is, okay, we stretch into this star, bring, uh, you could watch me once if you want, bring your, your elbow and your knee together, and then your arm circles over. And if you notice, as I'm coming up, my elbow is nice and tight into my body. And then I come up into this position, like a, my first seated position. And then I come back, the elbow comes into the body and I come all the way around. And again, I go to the other side. So body half, knee and elbow together, elbow pushes me up. And there's a freedom in this movement and try to allow your eyes to follow where you're going. So if you want, try this with me. It really works amazing. Okay, so coming into a star, Big inhale, and on your exhale, elbow and knee together, your body follows, almost like a fetal side position. Your arm circles around, you push up from your elbow and allow your head to follow. Elbow comes down into the star. Go to the other side when you're ready and your head follows. All right, so let's try this one more time so you can try and feel it. And again, whatever your body is capable of doing, just try to follow along because it will help, it will help you. All right, so big inhale into the star, exhale, right knee and elbow, body follows, arm circles, top arm circles, Coming back, head follows where you're going. Coming back, elbow into the star. And then on the exhale, 
going the other way. Arm follows. So let me, um, and then I invite you to come back down into the star. And if you want to, you could just watch me once doing it and then practice on your own afterwards. Um, it, and it gives you a, an awesome feeling of freedom in your body when you can start doing this. And it also helps us to repattern um, negative emotions and and Sorry, Shauna, Shauna, yes. can, can I just ask you if we if you'll be able to wrap up in the next minute or two? Yes, I have uh, 45 seconds left. <laughs> okay. And so um, if you can just watch me once, it might be helpful to see where this can take you. So. And. All right, so I don't have time to, to carry on, but I hope that you get something from that, that this, this helps you. Is There's also ways of, there's further things that we can do if we have time to repattern um, even ways that we attach emotionally to, to feelings and experiences. So. I um, would love to talk to any of you about that and further, and I hope that um, you'll reach out if you are interested. Okay, um, I pass it back to Reva. Shauna, thank you so much. That was amazing. And even me sitting in my chair, not able to find space on the floor, I, I got a lot out of that. And, and I'm feeling a lot less constricted than I was a few minutes ago. So, so I really, really appreciate that. Um, <laughs>